season replays, the fantasy drafts, ultimate creative leagues, and what if tournaments. It's Coffee Cup Games with the coach, DKM. Hey, 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 this is Coach DK. We are continuing our series as we're getting ready to wrap it up from our replay of the year 1900. We are in the playoffs. And as you can tell, we are almost done with the semifinals, about to enter into the league championships in the National League. We uh, have two teams um, already slated for the championship. Brooklyn Superbas, the number one seed, won their series against Pittsburgh Pirates in five games. And so they will be advancing and they will be playing against the St. Louis Cardinals, who beat the Boston Bean Eaters in likewise five games. St. Louis is the number three seed, beating the number two Boston Bean Eater. So we will have a National League Championship matchup between Brooklyn Superbas and the St. Louis Cardinals. In the American League, the number one seed Chicago Invaders uh, got rid of Detroit in five games. And so they will be playing in the championship and they will be waiting to see who they will be playing from the Cinderella series, the Kansas City Blues, who are the number six seed, and the Buffalo Bulls, who are the number seven seed, both Kansas City and Buffalo had upsets in the first round, and so they advanced. Buffalo was leading the series three games to zero, and then Kansas City has bounced back with two wins in games four and five on the road, and now the series is in Kansas City. So quite an interesting matchup there, and that's the game, obviously, we're going to be watching first. But before we jump into the, all the action and all the games, let's uh, just take a moment. I'm asking you guys, hey, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Really would appreciate it. Uh, just a nice way to show a little bit of love back for uh, this little project that I've been doing. I'm enjoying doing it. Hope you guys are enjoying watching it. So now let's jump into what actually you're here to see, which is the games. All right, as mentioned, we will be starting off with game six between Buffalo and Kansas City. Buffalo leads the series three games is two. Buffalo jumped up with three to zero lead in the series, and Kansas City answered back by winning games four and five on the road. But now the series goes back to Kansas City. And so hoping to uh, mount a massive comeback, but this is the Cinderella series. Uh, you have a number seven seed and number six seed, so you never know what could end up happening in this one. Um, on the mounds for Buffalo, we will have uh, Doc Amoli, the southpaw. He went 14 and 21 with 3.64 ERA. He was obviously their most frequent starter with 47, 47 games started during the regular season. Uh, in the postseason, he is 2-1 and one with a very good 2.92 ERA. He started 30 ga three games, has pitched 25 innings. He's only allowed 24 hits, walked 10, and struck out 8. For Kansas City, we are going to be going with a surprise start here. Norwood Gibson, the right-hander. He went 4-9 and nine with three saves and a 4.23 ERA. Not been used very much in the postseason. When he has been, it hasn't always been the best. He is 0-0 zero and zero with one save. He has a 17.55 ERA. He's allowed 11 hits, walked seven, and only seven innings pitched. The reason we decided to go with him is primarily because he is a little bit better against right-handers uh, than uh, Clay Patton, who was the other possible starter. Um, so we decided to go with Gibson on this one. Let's see if it pays off or if we just cost the Kansas City Blues the series. All right, so just real quick, let's jump into the lineups for each of the teams. For Buffalo, we have Getman leading off the center fielder. Atherton, the second baseman, will be batting second. Shrek and Goss, the catcher, will be batting third. Halligan, the uh, right fielder, will be in the cleanup spot. Noel, the left hander, or the left fielder, will be batting fifth. Home in the shortstop, batting sixth. Carey, the first baseman, will be batting seventh. Uh, Andrews, the third baseman, will be batting eighth. And Doc Amoli, the pitcher, will be batting ninth. For Kansas City, we will have Farrell, the center fielder, leading off. Ganzel, the first baseman, batting second. Dungan, the right fielder, will be batting third. Gear, uh, sometimes pitcher, sometimes outfielder. Uh, he'll be batting fourth in the cleanup spot. Klingman, the shortstop, batting fifth. Uh, Wilson will be getting the start today as a catcher. Um, and so he'll be batting sixth. Coughlin, the third baseman, batting eighth. Seventh, Schaefer, the second baseman, batting eighth. And Gibson, the pitcher, will be batting ninth. So now that we got the lineups, let's jump in and watch the game as it unfolds. All right, top of the first as we are at Exposition Park in Kansas City. 
Here is Getman, the center fielder, leading off. He's hitting 386, and he's going to continue his hitting um, as he leads off with a single. Now, Wilson, unfortunately, is the guy that we started, and as you can tell, he has a minus or has a zero arm, but Gibson is a plus five. So they should be able to steal on us pretty easily. Um, downside with bringing Gibson in on this one. Atherton, the second baseman, he's going to be hitting next. He is hitting 357. He's going to hit a ground ball to short, so that'll be one away. So that stolen base really helped them avoiding a double play there. Next up is Shrek and Goss. He's going to hit a fly ball to Farrell in center field, but he drops it. Ugh. So Shrek and Goss gets on to second with an air. Getman scores on the miscue. Halligan is up. He's going to pop out the first. So that'll be two down. And now next up is going to be Jack Knoll. Knoll is going to hit a pop out to third base. And that's going to be the end of the beginning. But Buffalo does jump up. one nothing in the first inning. And now we go into the bottom half of the first. Farrell leading off for us. He's hitting only 229 during the regular season. But he is going to lead off with a single. He needed a 1-6. to six. He doesn't get it. He gets the single, though. Ganzel is up. He's hitting 400, um, but he's going to this time hit a fly ball to center field. That's going to be one away. Here's Dungan. He's hitting 356. He needs a 1 to 17. He's going to get an 8. So that'll be a single. And we're going to try to send Farrell third, and he will get there successfully. So runners on the corners, one out. Here's Gear. He's hitting 304. He does have a home run. He needs a 1 to 6. He gets a 9. We're going to try to send the lead runner, and they're going to let us do it. And so we score a run, answering right back with three hits so far in the inning. Still only one away. Here's Klingman hitting 410, one of our best hitters. Do we want to try? Nope, we are not going to. So we'll just take the guy, take the output, advance gear to second. And here's Wilson, guy we brought in just for this game. And he needs a one. He gets an 18. So it is a single, but it's a two RBI single. Good decision by the coach, me, um, to bring him in. So next up is Coughlin, the third baseman. He's going to draw a walk. And now we get to the number eight hitter, our second baseman, Schaefer. He's hitting only 208. He's going to hit a ground ball to Atherton. Atherton makes the air, so the bases are loaded. And here comes Norwood Gibson, who, please get a pitcher's cart. <laughs> like... I mean, look at that card. He's got only walks at the twos and one at the 12. Everything else is an out. Jeez, he's horrible. All right, so we didn't get any more runs over the bases loaded with the pitcher up. Uh, but we do jump up three to one after one. Here's Holman hitting 409. The shortstop this time, though, is going to ground out. That's going to be one away. Here's Carey hitting 366. Jeez, at least they have some good hitters. Um, during the bottom half of that lineup, he's going to draw a walk. Of course, he's going to try to get a lead. They're not going to send him, surprisingly. Doc Andrews is going to strike out. And that's going to bring up the pitcher, Doc Amoli, who's going to uh, hit a line drive to short, and that's going to end the inning. All right, bottom of the second, here's Farrell. He's already one for one with a run. We went through all nine batters in the first inning. Uh, Farrell's going to hit a ground ball to first. That'll be one away. And here's Ganzel. He's going to hit a ball to second to Atherton, who already made an air. Uh, this time he does make the play, so two down. Here's Dungan. Dungan's going to get a ground ball to first base to carry. Carry's going to have to make a play on it, and he does one, two, three inning. So after a very exciting first inning, um, very quiet second. So Getman's now going to lead off for Buffalo, and he's going to fly out the center. That's going to be one away. Next up is Atherton, the second baseman, hitting 349 in the postseason. He's going to hit a fly ball to center field. That will be two away. Dude, Atherton might have, like, the best mustache. Um, Schreckengoss is up, and he's going to pop out. So a 1-2-3 inning there. Bottom of the third, here we go. Gear, who had the RBI single in the first inning to lead off the hitting. He is going to have a plate, a ball where Schreckengoss is going to be able to make an easy play. One down. Here's Klingman. Klingman grounded out the last time. He's going to ground out again. So he's 0 for 2. Here's Wilson, the surprise starter who had a RBI, uh, in a single, two RBI single in the first inning. He's going to get a single now 
in the third. So he's two for two. Here's Coughlin. He drew a walk his last time. He's going to hit a ground ball to third. So that's going to end the inning. At the end of three, Kansas City leads three to one. Kansas City has three runs on six hits, has committed one error. Buffalo has one run on only one hit, and they have committed one error. So Norwood Gibson, the surprise starter for us, and has been uh, doing very well. <clears throat> and now here is Halligan. He's going to hit a single. He needed a 1-16. to 16. He's going to get the roll. Um, so probably they're not trying to steal the 60% opportunity, even when they get held tight. So it is what it is. No, the left fielder is going to hit a single to, ironic, he's going to hit a single, and they don't send Halligan to third. Very odd decision there. But zero outs, they didn't want to risk it. Holman's up. He's going to hit a double to the left field, so it played out for them. As they're going to score two runs in that one, tying the game at three apiece. So suddenly Gibson looks human. Carey is now up. He needs a one at 16. He's going to get a single. So that should put runners on the corners. And now we, oh, they are going to still start to steal. We are going to hold on to the ball, let him take that one. Infield in against Doc Andrews. He's hitting 257. He only has one RBI. Let's go ahead and pitch to him, see if we can get it easy out here. And it was not the right decision as Andrews hits a double off the pitcher's card, scoring two more runs. So Buffalo now leads 5-3. to three. Here's Doc Amoli. He's going to bunt to advance Andrews to third. So now one away, runner on third, and another big hit as Getman. He's a 1-5. to five. He gets the 16, but it is still a double. So that's going to easily score a run, and they still have a runner in scoring position. Five runs in the inning. Uh, here's Atherton. He needs a 1-10. to 10. He gets an 11. It is going to be another double. Looks like Gibson was not human after all. <laughs> He is probably going to get close to pulled as another big hit. Shrek and Goss now unloads, scoring another run, seven runs in the inning. This might be our last batter. Halligan needs a one to five. He gets a one. Bro, they just completely unloaded on us in this inning. So we are going to quickly go make a pitching change as we are going to bring in Patton, the southpaw, for Gibson, who it looked like I had made the right decision, but at the end of the day, obviously I did not. I may have just cost us the series. Um, pop out. So that's going to be two down. And a passed ball. As they score another one, eight runs in the inning, and it's not over. As Hallman now comes up, and he's going to rip a single, scoring another run. As Buffalo suddenly just jumped up with nine runs in the fourth, taking a 10-3 lead. And finally, somebody gets out. Man. Billy Klingman puts us out of our misery as they score nine runs in the inning. So we have a huge deficit at this point. Um, wow, that was ugly. All right, here's Schaefer, second baseman. He's 0 for 1. We need our bats to like just totally get alive. I was hoping to keep um, Norwood Gibson in until this. Uh, at bat, but I just, he couldn't survive any longer. Farrell's up. He's going to hit a ground ball. This is going to be a one, two, three inning. So be, beyond the first inning, uh, they have pretty much kept us in check. Patton's going to be pitching against Doc Andrews, the third baseman. He's going to hit a fly ball. It's a Dungan out in the right field. He dives. He can't get it. Knocks the ball down. So Andrews just ends up with a single. And now the pitcher, Dr. Molly bunts to sacrifice. And we make another miscue, a two-base error. Whew. Now they are at the top of the order. Here's Gavin. He's going to draw a walk. He's already two for three. Now here's Atherton, who had a double the last time. He's going to hit a fly ball to right field. They are going to tag up, and they are going to score easily on that one. 
All right, Schreckengast is up. He's going to hit a ground ball to shortstop. And that will be, luckily for us, a 6 4 3 double play. But they do add one more run in the top of the fifth. We need some serious help. Ganzel is going to be leading us off. He is hitting 4 12, probably one of our best hitters. He is unfortunately going to pop out. Here's Dungan. Dungan is going to be strike. So Daka Moli has done an incredible job uh, after the first inning. Um, gear is up. He's going to rip a single. And now Klingman's up. He needs a one to two. He's going to get a nine. It will be a double. Does Gear have the speed? We are going to try to send him. They're not even going to test that. They're going to keep Klingman at second. So we get a run back. Runner on second, two outs. Wilson, who's two for two with two singles. And it's going to be a passed ball. So Klingman on third. Wilson gets another shot. He's going to hit a fly ball to left field. That's going to end the inning. But we do get that one run back from the fifth. Still trailing 11-4. to four. Here's Buffalo trying to wrap up the series. Halligan needs a 1-19. to 19. Hey, we got some luck on that one. That was a 20. Man, that doesn't happen often. That's like really frustrating, by the way, when you're actually playing with real cards and you're playing with somebody and you need a 1-19 to 19 and you get that 20. Or they only need a one to do something, and they get the one. Like, it's like the worst feeling. Um, but anyways, here's Noel. He's hitting 250 during the postseason. He's going to hit a ground ball to first. That'll be an easy out. Here's Holman. He needs a one to four. It's going to be a 12, and so he will be out. So one, two, three inning. <coughs> All we need is one big inning to get back in this one. And Coughlin is going to start off with a single. That is definitely something we like. Here's Schaefer. He needs a one. Man, that would have been one of those opportunities where I could really use that. But he's going to hit a deep fly ball. Here's Patton. We're going to let him swing away just because our pitching is horrible after Patton. And it didn't work out as Farrell then flies out as well. And so that's going to end the inning. Top of the seventh. Here we go. Here's Carey. He's going to hit a fly ball to center field. So he's going to be one for three in the afternoon, hitting 372 so far before that at bat. Here's Andrews hitting 297. He's going to draw a walk. And now here's Doc Amoli, who's going to try to bunt. This time, luckily, we make the play at first. Getman, two for three with a double and a single and a walk. This time he's going to line out. That's going to end the inning. Who won the National League MVP and Cy Young Awards in 19? 1968. I have no idea. Sandy Koufax. Bob Gibson. All right. Here's Ganzel. Ganzel is up. He's hitting 389. He needs a 1 to 16. He is going to get the 1. So he gets his second hit of the afternoon. Doc Moly now going against Dungan. Dungan is going to hit a 6 4 3. Double play. Hmm. Gear, who is two for three. It's going to be three for four as he gets his third single. Actually, we might as well try. He's going to get a double. I take that back as we try to stretch it. So, Gear having a good game. He's in scoring position. Klingman gets a hit. We are going to send Gear as we need every run we can get. So, we get one more run. Let's see if we can get a good two out rally. Here's Wilson. The other guy that we decided to make the surprising start, he is two for three with two RBIs. He could really use a big hit here, and he is not going to come through in this situation. That's going to end the inning. He's 11 to five. Eighth inning, here's Atherton. He's going to pop out. That's going to be one away. Here's Schreckengoss. Schreckengoss needs a one to five. He's going to get the five. He's now been on base three times. He had a two base air in the first where he could um, end up knocking in a run. And now he gets a double in the eighth. Here's Halligan, two for four with a double. He's going to hit a ground ball. We're going to take the easy out at first, and that will be two down. Here's Noel. He's one for four with a run. He's going to draw a walk. And now Holman's up. He's two for four. We're going to let Noel take that base easily. And Holman's going to be strikeout. Ending the inning. Bottom of the eighth. Coughlin's up. We need some desperate help. He's going to hit a ground ball. That's going to be one out. And here comes Schaefer. He's 0 for 3. He has been on base with an error. 
Um, he's going to hit it to center. All right, we're going to bring in Hemp Hill in to pinch hit for Patton. He is hitting 267. Did not give him a start today. He needs a one. He's going to get a seven. That's going to be an out. So that will end the inning as we now enter in to the ninth inning. But first, we need to figure out who's going to finish on the mound for us. All right, so we decided just to take gear from the outfield and put him on the mound for this last inning as a work. Here's Carey, the first baseman. He is one for three. He's hitting 364, but in this at bat, he's going to fly out. And so that'll be one down. Here's Doc Andrews. He's two for three. He's going to line out the second. That's two away. And here's Doc Amoli, the pitcher. They're going to let him in. And he draws a walk. Getman's up. He's, oh boy. He needed a one. He got the two, but that will be a fly out. So Amoli's trying to finish out the game. He has allowed all five runs have been earned. He has given up 12 hits, but he does have a comfortable 11 to five lead. Farrell's going to lead off our top of the order, and he's going to ground out one down. Gantel, he's going to get a single, so we still have a little bit of life here. Dungan up. He's hitting 347. He is going to hit a single, so his second hit of the game. And now we got runners on first and second. Here's Gear, three for four with a double. A hit would be huge here. He needs a one to two. He gets a 17. They're going to make a play at the plate. So both runs scored. Gear decided to test uh, on the play on the throw. He was 1-8. to eight. So we decided to send him to third, which was probably good because we still got the run um, because of the roll of the 15. But Gear is thrown out. That's going to be two away. Klingman up, trying, lastly, to keep us alive, and they decide to bring in Edward Fersh to try to wrap up the game. Now, his card does not look very good. This might be in our favor, but unfortunately, Klingman is going to fly out the left field. That's going to end the inning as Buffalo wins the game 11-7, to and they win the series and will advance to the league championship. Buffalo, the number seven seed, is going to be playing the Chicago Invaders in the American League Championship. Wow. It was a good game. Um, fourth, Buffalo just went off on us, and that ended up causing uh, too big of a margin that we just could not bounce back from. But we did out-hit Buffalo, but... They got all those runs in that fourth inning. Unfortunate, but congrats to Buffalo as they advance, and we will see what happens in the league championships. All right, so we only are going to do uh, one game today um, just because of time, um, but I did want to go back and look at the bracket now that all the semifinal games have concluded. And so in the American League, we will have the number one Chicago Invaders going against the number seven Buffalo Bulls. Um, you know, you think it would be an easy one for Chicago, but Buffalo continues to get the upsets. In the National League, we got the number one Brooklyn Superbas going against the number three St. Louis Cardinals. So obviously we have Chicago Invaders and Brooklyn Superbas being the favorites advancing to the World Series, but Buffalo has continued to create upsets and St. Louis does have uh, some great stars, particularly Cy Young, who probably will be getting the game one start. So very interesting matchups as we continue in the adventure. So this is Coach DK. Hope you had a good one. Until next time.